So you go into an art shop and you're looking for a, a something to paint on. Uh, you're an oil painter, you want to choose a canvas, and you go into the art shop, there's a whole plethora of different things out there. You can buy, you can buy canvas boards, you can buy stretched canvases. These are good, but they're not all good. Uh, and the, the cheaper you go, the, the more chance you have of um, uh, getting a canvas which is poorly made and you know, will frustrate you in your paintings. Some of you may not know me. My name is Kevin McSherry. Uh, I'm an artist and a teacher working out of my studio here in Dublin. Uh, so if you want to see uh, more of my work, go to mcsherrystudio.com. It'd be nice to know where you, you're viewing from. So um, do sort of put something in the comments uh, below. Uh, tell me where you're from. Have you ever had this problem uh, of uh, knowing which canvas to buy and you're faced with a whole load of them? If you have had that problem, say so in the comments. Uh, in my, and. Uh, I'll reply to as many comments as I can. Do me the honor of uh, liking this video uh, and maybe subscribing to my channel because I put out lots of useful information, there's lots of useful information uh, to help you paint uh, uh, in my playlists. So you can have a look there. If you subscribe, you get to see them all. This is a canvas panel. And the particular uh, thing that's usually wrong with them is the, uh, either the gesso that they're using or the amount of gesso that they put on, on the canvas. And you can't really tell when you're in the shop just looking over these things. Some of them, I don't know, they'd be two for a five or, or, or something like that. But what happens is you bring them into the, your studio and you start to paint and uh, they soak away the oil. And it's not a very, uh, not a very comfortable experience. Uh, and you, as you can see, you can actually sort of feel the, the oil soaking into the canvas. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't, uh, it should be bound to the surface because of the gesso. Gesso means chalk uh, in, in Italian. So it's, it's a chalky coating to, to put on the, you know, so that it grips the paint, but it doesn't let it soak through because if you soak, let the uh, linseed oil soak through into the canvas, then you can start getting issues uh, uh, that the paintings don't age well, or they get, the paint gets corrupted or whatever. But the, if you do uh, have a bunch of these canvases that uh, you bought cheaply, and you didn't like the first uh, time you painted on them, say so in the comments, uh, and, and uh, I'll reply to as many comments as I can. Um, so also you, you might uh, do me the honor of uh, liking this video uh, and maybe subscribing to my channel because I intend to put up lots of useful information, there's lots of useful information uh, to help you paint uh, uh, in my playlists. So you can have a look there. If you subscribe, you get to see them all. Uh, so, uh, let me uh, continue with this video. This is a canvas panel. Um, I bought it in a local art shop and uh, it's perfectly good. This is a stretched canvas, also very good. It has, look, it has these things here for, uh, um, for tautening your, your canvas. And I'll show you how to, to use those, those in another video. Uh, you know, it's a branded one. It's good, works very well. It's all coated in plastic and dust from my studio. Very dusty studio I have. Uh, so, these are good, but they're not all good. Uh, and the, the cheaper you go, the, the more chance you have of um, uh, getting a canvas which is poorly made and, you know, will frustrate you in your paintings. And the particular uh, thing that's usually wrong with them is the, uh, either the gesso that they're using or the amount of gesso that they put on, on the canvas. And you can't really tell when you're in the shop just looking over these things. Some of them, I don't know, they'd be two for a five or, or, or something like that. <clears throat> but what happens is you bring them into the, your studio and you start to paint and uh, they soak away the oil. And it's not a very, uh, not a very comfortable experience uh, and you, as you can see, you can actually sort of feel the, the oil soaking into the canvas. You shouldn't do that. It should, uh, it should be bound to the surface because of the gesso. Gesso means chalk uh, in, in Italian. So it's, it's a chalky coating to, to put on the, um, you know, so that it grips the paint, but it doesn't let it soak through because if you soak, let the uh, linseed oil soak through into the canvas, then you can start getting issues. If you do uh, have a bunch of these canvases that uh, you bought cheaply, and you didn't like the first uh, time you painted on them. It, it, you know, all is not lost. You can, 
actually just put your own gesso uh, on the canvas. <clears throat> if you're going to sort of coat a, a canvas from, from absolute scratch, from a bare bit of canvas, you'd put on three coatings, you'd let each coat dry, you might sand down and put on a, a second and a third coating. But this is the stuff that you use. And let me just put it, uh, get it a bit closer. There are other brands, or obviously there's loads of, of, of different brands, you can see that there. I really like this, the Franck and Bourgeois uh, gesso paint goes on really nicely into it. But Winsor & Newton do it, and Sennelier, they all do uh, gesso, and you can even make your own gesso if you're gonna go down that uh, path of doing everything yourself and making up your own paints. It's not necessary. So uh, you can put on an extra couple of coatings of that gesso, and that will actually make a huge difference to the canvas. So uh, paint oils, paint small, paint often, and uh, you'll get your dream painting one way or the other by painting regularly. So please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.